longest night. <laughs> cycle anymore. Nothing to see there really. What is your name? Maria. Maria. She is making a tortilla homemade basically. Quanto tortilla hace? Unos en un día 30 32 kilos o... gracias maría de nada typical uh, breakfast from <laughs> mexico it's like a whole meal basically mm -hmm. homemade tortillas on the side. Yeah, I was like, Ooh. Another day, another church, I'm trying to find a place to camp. Mexico is always characterized by these beautiful murales, beautiful painting, and uh, yeah, they're really, they're really beautiful. So this monument uh, represents the, the wall that uh, um, the president of the United States uh, built. It's a monument in an honor for all of the migrants that they are going to United States to have more uh, more possibility to work for their families. As you can see, uh, to the other side in Mexico, there is still the, the family, the, the woman uh, with uh, children. And on top, you see the butterfly, the butterfly that they do migration from uh, the north of Canada uh, through United States and after they come here in Mexico during the winter, especially in this place up there in the mountain. There are two different sanctuaries of the monarch butterfly. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of people they can die during the the way, or uh, it's it's difficult uh, because uh, uh, means uh, that uh, these people they have to work for um, maybe 24 hours and uh, on in the mountains they have to carry water everything and um, yeah it's, it's difficult leave your family leave your country and go in a place that uh, uh, sometimes you are not welcome uh, yeah this is a, a monument in honor for all of these people El 
significado de la vida es muy extenso, muy grandiosa la vida que debemos de disfrutar momento a momento, segundo a segundo. Eso es para mí el significado de la vida. La vida es una, es una gracia que Dios nos dio para, para vivirla para bien de todo el mundo. More than 4,000 meters. I've never been uh, so high in my life. And uh, I've only been so high one time in Nepal in the Himalayas. And uh, we are following the trail to go up to see the crater. And uh, maybe I'm going to to the lake. I think it's working well. <laughs> it's tiring, but slowly it's possible. Scott Pieca. I live in Los Altos, California. Uh, the meaning of life would be uh, giving back. People need help, kindness, and ex seeing, experiencing Earth, things like this, and meeting great people along the route. Thank you. Peace. Bye. We just hiked a mountain of more than 4,000 uh, meters. I don't know really well, <laughs> but yeah, it feels good. I'm happy. Mihil is waiting me at the parking lot. Mihil, I walk up there. We're in the botanical garden in Toluca. Accessible um, botanical garden. It's only the second time I'm in a wheelchair again since we started the trip. The first time was at CAF in San Diego. <laughs> also in, in Mexico City we'll use a, a wheelchair. Beautiful Art Deco, glass ceilings, glass walls, from 1933. Well, this is the Kabli bus. The, uh, another type of public, public transport in overcrowded Mexico City where this is a, a connection between two metro lines and as you can see there is not much space left for another bus line, metro line, even a road so they've built it on these, on these cable cars and uh, this is not a touristic activity this is for people to get around, to go to work and uh, go home from work, as you can see. This is a 10.6 kilometer line, and I think it's the third one in Mexico City. Yeah, one of the reasons we're taking this is because you can see street art from the, that they've made on the rooftops. Here we can see the biggest pyramid, which is called the Pyramid of the Sun, uh, which is considered the most important pyramid of the Tehuacatan. A couple of days ago from uh, Mexico City to um, Campeche 
and now today we start to cycle and now we are sleeping in the garden of the church in a little village mm -hmm. <laughs> we're in an area with a lot of pyramids so it's going to be exciting yeah. eight hours later welcome to the show children <laughs> we didn't show you a new new hat <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's cute. It, no, it's cool. <laughs> Kiara is a cyber nun. I'm the techno desert priest. We are here, really beautiful Maya temples we are looking at here. And uh, it's warm. Deliciosa es lo más típico, ¿eh? Es más típico de Yucatán. Sí. 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 ¿Cuánto y tiempo se cosa? Siete horas. Siete horas. Ahora vamos a disfrutar. <risa> another flat so we are in Mexico for uh, basically four months and this is one of the first times that is uh, raining a lot <laughs> so yeah it's, it's exciting for us because uh, I don't know it's just really warm and uh, it's just nice to, to have some changing so it's our last week uh, we're not cycling a lot anymore, we're just cycling sometimes a little bit on the island. Um, we're swimming a lot. Some places, the ocean here is really like you're in, like, in an aquarium, it's really beautiful. We've seen a lot of beautiful fish. Yesterday, uh, our stuff almost got stolen. Our neighbors, their stuff got stolen. <laughs> so we're really lucky. And uh, yeah, we're also excited to go back home uh, to see our friends and families and not have to live on a bicycle for a while. <laughs> Conditions are really bad, we just got completely wet. Really shitty, the shittiest ferry ever. Wow, it's the weather. the Carmen and uh, we're taking a picture with all of our gear <laughs> um, we're putting all of our gear out uh, we are trying to share worldwide everyone that can see this video uh, how people uh, 
travel on a bicycle. And everyone needs uh, different equipment, uh, different needs for each people. So this is your turn for mm -hmm. Chiara and Miguel in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So what we are going to do is a top view uh, photo mm -hmm. with all the equipment or if, if we don't have all the things that they are carrying, most of it. And I'm a photographer here in Play Carmen, living for 10 years, and I've been doing this uh, specific uh, photo with cyclists that I receive. And actually, sometimes I don't receive them in my home, like this is uh, a specific uh, time. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing this photo since uh, 2019. So already almost four years doing this photo, more than 36 uh, cyclists and family and couples and all kind of people riding bikes and traveling the world and showing that it's as easy as we know but people don't know, you know? Miguel, <laughs> su faceta de nombre mexicano, Mexican name. Amigos, this is the art of the Huichol Indians. The Huicholes, they don't live here, they live on the west coast in Mexico, on the mm. Pacific Ocean. Mm. Here is Playa del Carmen, here is the area of the Mayas. This is one of the artists. Mm. Until these days, the 90% of them, they don't speak Spanish, they speak their own dialect. Mm -hmm. And with a needle, they glue the glass beads one by one into the wax, making symbols like the deer, the sun, the turtle. And if you notice, this art is very colorful. Mm -hmm. It's very colorful because the visions that the artists have with the allucinogenic cactus, mm -hmm. peyote. Mm -hmm. Peyote is a cactus that if you eat it, smoke it or chew it, you get high and you see all these colors. Okay. Something spiritual for the Huichol Indians. Okay. ¿Dónde estamos? Bueno, estamos entrando al único pulmón de selva virgen que queda alrededor de Playa del Carmen. Estamos aproximadamente a 7 kilómetros del centro de Playa del Carmen vamos ahorita a llegar a nuestra base de tours que tenemos aquí el secreto de esta cocina es el fuego que se utiliza el fuego de leña le da un sabor mm. increíble a la comida y ahorita lo van a probar a mí me gusta la, la aroma del, del fuego Lenteja con un camarón. Que me brindo el primer día. Me lo creció de ganas de dormir a solerito. Porque Dios que es a Franca a mí me tiene el hombito. Oh, ah. ¿Cómo te sientes que volver a Europa? Yeah, I'm really happy to go back and not have to cycle so much anymore. But at the same time, sad and to miss Mexican people and Mexican food and adventure and warm weather and good food. And Show us your haircut. I got a haircut yesterday. Story. My last Mexican haircut. <laughs> We're flying to Madrid and then from Madrid we cycle to Portugal in about one week and then it's officially the end we are live in madrid <laughs> early in the morning we're in madrid okay i didn't sleep yara slept two hours and on the bus uh, salimos hacia africa mm -hmm. En 10 minutos. <risa> ¡Qué loco! ¡Wow! Y también él es un ciclo viajero. Así es. Desde Canadá a Ushuaia. ¿Y, y cuándo? En el 2019. Nosotros eh, vamos a preguntar a la gente que encontramos cuál es el significado de la vida para ti. Oh. 
sencillo, hacer lo, lo que uno sueña Ajá. y lo que uno quiere, sin respetando al resto. Okay. Es fácil. La vida es muy sencilla. ¿eh? Wow. Sí. Muchas gracias. Nada. Wow. They're going. They're going. They're going to Africa now. <laughs> So crazy. Just met some other Ciao. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. They are going and we are coming home. Yeah. <laughs> so yesterday we slept in this tiny house. Really, really cute. And the owners of the of the house of the people that we met in the morning that they are on their uh, on their travel to Africa thank you very much so we are back to the civilization and um, we are back to Europe we are uh, uh, close to Madrid now uh, we just started uh, yesterday Ah, why we flew back to Madrid? Uh, because uh, the flight was cheaper, no, it was 500 euro cheaper and also I think it was a good way to be less malinconic to come back home. So it's, yeah, it's a big difference from Mexico. The Spanish people, they're a little bit more serious. They're more serious, yeah. We they're were not so outgoing as uh, yeah. Mexican people, like in Mexico there's like music everywhere and craziness everywhere they are really loud uh, Mexican people and uh, I, I don't know I, I like it this you can everybody is a lot of people say hello to you and talk to you then here we're getting back to European individualism yeah yeah and, uh, but it is nice because we we didn't know and uh, we are on a Camino route we didn't know well in Spain there are many Caminos so a pilgrimage, old pilgrimage route yeah. uh, to a small village called yeah. Guadalupe where something miraculous happened. We don't know what. We have to look it up actually. And uh, yeah. Hmm? She say yes. Oh. Good boy. Good girl. Aww. Good morning. where we slept last night. It's steep up here. Doesn't look like. So it's the end of another cycling day here in Spain. Uh, we're behind the cemetery. This here is the back of the, the back wall of the cemetery. We just walked around it and we just set up camp here chill in the couch and watch the watch the television <laughs> which is our view hey. <laughs> in uh, about three days we'll be in Portugal home sweet home Ooh. really close to the border with Portugal Last day of cycling, we are 7k from Sao Domingo. Uh, where Michil have a house. Almost. Mm -hmm. Today. Balto with a new pillow and we really love it. And yeah, we want to say thank you to all of the people that they watch our video and, uh, and the people that they follow our adventure in different ways. They support our adventure. If you didn't subscribe yet, you do, can do so now. please now. And, and uh, also all of the people that they take care of our animals and our house. Uh, people who hosted us, all the warm showers, uh, everybody. Yeah. Nine months oh. in the can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want, no, uh, you have to keep following our uh, our adventure. 
for no. uh, our next trip. Okay, now it's time for a shower. We didn't even change our clothes, our bikes, they are still like before. Yeah. Ciao! Ciao! Good start of the day. We've been cycling for eight hours and a half and I'm totally dead. I met other cyclists. <laughs> Almost two months that we are cycling. Treat everybody the way you want to be treated, and that's the secret to life. And I'm Jonas, the editor. Thank you for watching. Rudy, what's your meaning of life? Just relax.